What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our Manchester United career mode. This is episode number 9 of the series. And as you can see on your screen right now, give me more money, mother suckers! I went to the office. I went to the big boys. I went to the owner. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I went to them. I said, look boys, if you want me to win stuff, you're going to have to give me some money. Because as you can see, I'm sucking. I mean, I'm like poo poo right now. We ain't winning games. I need some money so I can buy the players I want to buy. Now, you're going to look at the screen right now. And you're going to say, oh, skills, you're buying this guy because you're going off the hype of FIFA 14. You're going off the hype of what everyone's saying about FIFA 14. That's not the reason I'm going after Christian Benteke. Let me explain why I'm going after Christian Benteke. If you've been a part of the Booyah Nation for a long time, I mean a long time, then you would remember that I did an Austin Villa career mode last season in FIFA 13. And who was my best player? Who was the guy that I was screaming his name every single episode? Who was the guy that I couldn't pronounce his name correctly every single episode? Christian Benteke. I can say it now because I have real like a lot of practice, probably like 40 episodes of saying his name. So now I can say his name correctly. But... Christian Benteke was a monster in my FIFA 13 Austin Villa career mode. If you watch that, let me know in the comments down below. If, you, if you've been part of the Booyah Nation for that long, let me know in the comments down below. But he was amazing in my Austin Villa career mode last year. He scored every single game. He was scoring hat tricks. He was a beast. So I said, you know what? I'm not bringing him in because everybody's hyping up, hyping him up in FIFA 14. I'm bringing him in because of how great he was for me in FIFA 13. I've known this guy's been a beast since last season because he was a beast for me already. So I'm gonna attempt to bring him into Manchester United. You might say, why, yo? You have RVP, you have Wayne Rooney. As you can see, I'm not scoring many goals with them. And now we're going to the game against Anf against, I mean, in Anfield against Liverpool. I was about to call him Anfield. What the hell? We're going to Anfield to play Liverpool, and we, we're we're okay because we're coming off of a big win against Crystal Palace where we won three. No. So if we can come out here and get a nice, nice little victory against Liverpool, I think we'll be okay and start climbing this table easily. Now, I went back to the set default formation that Manchester United runs, the 4-2-3-1, with uh, RVP in the front by himself. Wayne Rooney did not start this game. Our midfield was who? Who was our midfield? There was Fellaini and uh, I want to say Fellaini and Kagawa. Did I start Kagawa? Actually, you know what? It might have been Fellaini and Fletcher that I started this game with. And I played cleverly behind RVP. I think that's how I started the game. And it worked off. It worked out pretty damn well because first 26 minutes, I mean, that's, that's Liverpool's first shot of the game. So we defended really, really well. Our midfield was strong and we were getting a lot of opportunities. That's the only two uh, like crucial chances that Liverpool had in the first half. So... Really, we were playing uh, great football. And, 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 and let me stop real quick. But look, actually, let me not stop. Look at this play here. Beautiful steal from Fletcher. Fletcher with a fake shot. Drops it off to RVP. And like I said, when I tell you I don't know how to use RVP yet, that's what I mean by I don't know how to use RVP yet. I should have stopped that, turned him a little bit, used his left foot into the back of the net. But I just always forget that he's a lefty for some reason. It's a new move. I bring in Rain, Wayne Rooney to start off the second half. Took out RVP. I know a lot of people must be like, you crazy taking out RVP. I know I am pretty crazy. But again, don't know how to play with him well. That's the reason I took him out. We move on to the 60 or 57th minute. Was that 50, 50? No, 67th minute where Liverpool had a great chance. Vorm came up with a big boy save. And you know we counterattacking like bosses. Wayne Rooney swings it up to Young. Young with a beautiful through pass to Wayne Rooney. Cue the booyah music, mother sucker, because it's into the back of the net. Wayne Rooney sticks it home. And we're up 1-0 in Anfield. Big win against Crystal Palace. We come to Anfield. We take the lead against Liverpool. Everything looking good. The Skillsters looking like a good manager. And Manchester United are back on course. 75th minute, Wayne Rooney swings a beautiful pass to Cleverly, and he's in, and he's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. And how the hell do you miss from there? I couldn't believe my eyes when I missed that. We move on to the 88th minute where something crazy happens. You see, I don't clear the ball correctly. The ball lands to Lucas. Lucas sends the ball to Kelly. Kelly to the middle to Donny. The guy that I try to sign in the beginning of the season scores the equalizer. 
And it's gonna be a draw. We fall short at Anfield. We only get one point and we played a great game, but at least I'm starting to see progress and I'm playing correctly with Manchester United. I feel like we're on the right track. Now you're probably saying, Skills, why is this episode so short? All the career modes have been long. Well, the next episode is the deadline day. So that episode alone is gonna be like 20 minutes. If I would've added it with this, it would've been like a 30 minute episode. I don't think nobody got time for that. I don't think you guys would wanna see that. So that's why this episode's short. I apologize for that. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button make sure to subscribe sorry this one's short but the next one is gonna be a long one and from now on long one i just didn't know if you wanted a 30 minute episode